it's 45 degrees in my shop. My hands are cold. My tools are cold. And I feel like I've gone back to Iowa. <laughs> now, I thought I would show one of the less desired uh, aspects of wood carving and stuff but as far as a finished piece and stuff it's one of the most important what I've done is this is the fourth coat of lacquer this brush on lacquer that uh, I use this is Minwax there's also uh, several other brands uh, they all work pretty much the same. Uh, it's brush on lacquer, used in a well ventilated room, and uh, apply thinly. You don't want to put it on large clumps. And in between each coat, you have to rub it down. Thus, the term hand rub lacquer. I'm using a triple aught steel wool and you can see the areas here where I haven't done the rubbing yet it's shinier the areas up here where I have done it's kind of a satin finish you don't see the sheen on it you have to rub out any imperfections dust um, any kind of nap that the wood has brought up and just buff it out where it is a smooth, satiny looking finish. The problem is that I can't apply another coat until it's at least 60 degrees in here. I don't know if it's going to make it today for the fourth or fifth coat, whichever one I'm on now but it gives me time to uh, clean up my mess and get started on uh, my next carving which will be the landing osprey just thought I'd give you a little insight to the preparation on each coat Please, while you're doing this, don't smoke, don't be close to any exposed flame, a candle or anything such as that, any kind of a heating element. I'm taking mineral spirits and wiping down the entire cane to get rid of any dust pieces of steel wool that may have come loose. Okay, just a short example of how I apply the uh, lacquer. Start at the top. sure you get all of the nooks and crannies covered with a very thin layer of varnish and follow the grain. I'm using uh, an artist brush that has much softer, finer bristles. Not that I'm an artist by any means. you get the area completely covered, the thin coat, you wipe away any of the excess, excess 
that you may have. Lacquer will flow and smooth itself out. That's why I love it so much as far as a very fine finish as I'm doing here. And if this does turn out to be the last coat, I will not rub it down with steel wool to the extent that I have done. I will go around and see if there are any runs or things that need to be done. I will rub it down with uh, clean cloth, smooth, and then I will rub it with Johnson & Johnson's Paste Wax. That will protect the finish. Possibly even banging around a little bit. Since this is a shillelagh, I'm sure it will be banged around from time to time. Smooth out with the grain. And that's all there is to it. It's not magic, just time and patience. Irish shillelagh for Mr. Parker. Notice the flow. Most important thing in the whole con concept of carving a cane with a serpentine. This makes you feel dizzy, doesn't it?